burn-in is when you don't move a window for so long on a bright OLED TV that it causes the image to burn into the TV. Even if you put a window behind it on the TV, or try to show something else, you permanently see the burned-in image. OLED screens are all the craze today. All of the features that companies like LG add, that help prevent burn-in, are pretty great when the TV is used as a TV. But when users use the screens as computer screens, they typically disable these features that prevent burn-in because auto-dimming is annoying. Having your images move around on you is annoying. In today's video, we're going to cover settings for your Mac that you can use to prevent image retention and burn-in so that you can extend the longevity of your display even if you use an OLED as a computer monitor. We'll cover things like making menu bars dynamic, sharing which colors are the worst for burn-in, changing colors of UI elements to avoid those colors on static images on the screen, and more. In my other videos, we covered how to set up 120Hz to work, and in future videos, we'll cover how to set up your LG TV so it works best as a monitor, and other OLED videos, so be sure to subscribe and search the channel so you don't miss those. OLED's weakness is the color red. The screen is more susceptible to burn in with the color red and burns in red images easier. Guess what color the close button always is and where it's always located on Macs and where it doesn't move from. Set your accent color to graphite, allowing the OS to ditch those red, yellow, and green colors on the top left of every window. Allow wallpaper tinting. Check allow wallpaper tinting in windows so that you can have a mild tint based on the wallpaper colors blended into your open windows. The windows themselves become softer and less taxing on the color white, which is also not great for OLED. Wallpapers. OLED screens burn in when they're showing the same image constantly. We can solve a huge issue by going into settings and picking rotating wallpapers. The burn in doesn't stand a chance. Select change picture and rotate every 12 hours. If you don't care for wallpapers, setting it to the color black has massive energy and efficiency benefits on the pixels. I paid for my OLED, so I'm gonna use it. Dark mode. You can change the appearance of the system itself to dark mode, which will minimize the overall usage of the color white, which is one of the worst cases of static images on OLED. Personally, I don't use this because white text on black backgrounds hurts my eyes. Spaces and multiple displays. A huge workaround that I haven't seen mentioned anywhere is using your laptop as your main display and your TV, OLED, as your secondary and disabling displays having separate spaces puts all the things that never move, like your desktop icons, dock, and menu bar all on your secondary screen and then you don't have to have anything on your OLED. If you're rocking a lot of screens like I am, you get sick of swiping your trackpad every time you want a screen on another space. Now, with one swipe, I can swap all the spaces. How to do this? Go into settings and displays and drag the white menu bar to make your laptop or another screen the main screen. Then, search in the settings for setup spaces and uncheck displays have separate spaces. You'll need to log in again for this to take effect. Disabling separate spaces has the further benefit of hiding the menu bar on all screens except your main display. Menu bar. The dock is a little obvious that you can hide and show it only on mouse over, but little many people know that you can also do the same with the menu bar. That setting is hiding under settings when you search for menu and see the option automatically hide and show the menu bar. It only comes up when you hover with a mouse now. You only need this if your main display is your OLED TV. Dock. As already mentioned, you can right click and say hide the dock automatically so that it only appears when you mouse over it so that it doesn't burn into the screen. Brightness. Having the brightness set to full tilt accelerates burn in. I can change the brightness on my OLED TV by using the built in brightness keys on my keyboard. Install the app monitor control, which is linked under this chapter in the description, and you'll be able to play with the brightness and turning it down when you need to. Scroll bars. Navigate to System Settings and select Auto Hide Scroll Bars and set it to When Scrolling. Quicker Screensaver. Decrease the amount of time it takes for the screensaver to activate. 
This will further prevent your wallpapers and other non-moving windows from burning in. You can set up the screensaver to not lock you out when you come back so that you don't need to re-enter your password. Hot Corners Set up a hot corner to show the screensaver when you're stepping away. I picked a screensaver that changes what it shows to keep the pixels moving. A black screensaver works great here as well. Instant Lock If you know you're going away for longer, a useful shortcut to instantly lock your Mac is command Control q It shortly goes to sleep after and saves on energy and pixels. Before we wrap up, I want to mention that LG is aware that people are using OLED TVs as monitors, and they have terrific warranties in place. Maybe not for that reason, but they do have warranties. Within a year or two, if your display experiences burn-in, you can basically get a free panel exchange once, with no questions asked, because they want people feeling comfortable buying their panels. Best Buy in the US has warranty incentives on OLED when you buy their membership, which I have. TV panels are getting so good that burn-in is becoming more and more of an issue from the past. If you do get burn-in, let me pose a question. So what? You got a tiny little red dot in the corner of your TV, maybe after three or four years of use. There are warranties in place, techniques we just learned, and even if it does happen, personally, I don't think burn-in is a huge deal. You can move your window over or ignore the slightly red dot. Today, we cover techniques to prevent burn-in when using OLED TVs and monitors with Macs. We encourage you to check out the other videos available on how to enable 120Hz over HDMI on older Macs, and to stay tuned for when the next OLED videos come out. We sincerely thank you for tuning in and hope you have a great day.